I opened the door and she stood there looking at me. She didn't look angry. She looked sad, sorry, but also happy and had a sweet look in her eyes. She held her arms out and I hugged her, feeling drawn in. Suddenly I got a weird vibe from her and shortly after I heard her laughing hysterically, and my vision began to haze, and began to fade. Break up. So earlier in the week, I found out that my girlfriend had been cheating on me. So we broke up, which was pretty devastating after nearly four years. Obviously, I was heartbroken but didn't want to burden my friends with the situation. So I decided to just be alone and try to cheer myself up. It was a Saturday and I had decided to stay up later than usual. Everyone was asleep in my house, so I decided to read to avoid being loud and annoying everyone. I heard a knock on my door and thought maybe my mom had gotten up to see if I was awake or not, so I opened it nonchalantly, only to find nobody there and no lights on. I rationalized that my dog had maybe come upstairs and hit my door with her tail when she walked by, although it did still freak me out a little. I woke up, not even realizing I had fallen asleep reading, still dazed and tired. It was roughly around noon, and I was really hungry having not eaten in the time I was awake the night before. Only after going into my kitchen did I realize how quiet my house had been. I checked the garage and the driveway, even the street outside my house. My parents' car was gone. They had left no note as to where they went, and they must have taken my dog so I assumed they went to the veterinarian or something. But despite being alone, I was sure that when I looked up from the fridge, I had seen a person near my staircase. I was still a little dazed, but I knew I saw someone. I couldn't see them clearly due to the lack of lighting. But the person had the same figure as my ex-girlfriend. I watched her for a moment, wondering why she was standing there. And she seemed to be looking at me. Then she walked away and went upstairs. I forgot all about my hunger and followed her. But she was gone. I shrugged it off as my mind playing tricks on me since I was still a little shaken over the breakup. I was reminiscing about the earlier events while sitting in my room, remembering the figure I'd seen and the entire situation brought tears to my eyes. Not of fear, but of sadness. I missed her and seeing her in my delusions broke my heart further. I had gone back to reading and calmed down a bit more than earlier when I heard laughing outside in the hallway. I kept hearing her laugh and she called my name. At this point I thought she had broken into my house, but I was too unsure to call the police. I simply yelled at her to get out, then it stopped the voices, the noises. For the rest of the day, I stayed in my room, thinking she was in my house, thinking she went mad and was waiting for a chance to attack me. 
I was sure she had flipped out. Later, I heard a thump against my door, like something being thrown at it, something kind of heavy. I ignored it, refusing to open my door and go out. If she wouldn't come to me, I wasn't going to her, and I was safe in my room. Then the thumping became louder and more frequent, and I grew sick of it. If she attacked me, I'd have no choice but to defend myself. I opened the door, and she stood there, looking at me. She didn't look angry. She looked sad. Sorry, but also happy, and had a sweet look in her eyes. She held her arms out, and I hugged her, feeling drawn in. Suddenly, I got a weird vibe from her, and shortly after I heard her laughing hysterically, and my vision began to haze, and began to fade. I woke up on a hospital bed, looking up at the ceiling. My head hurt a little. Noises around me were muffled. I still couldn't see entirely clearly and all I could make out was the face of a nurse leaning over me a little, her face filled with joy. She explained I was found lying on the floor in a coma, and that I had been in it for several hours afterwards. I wasn't sure what had happened. I wasn't sure what to make of the situation. She told me I had been lucky. Most people don't wake up from comas, and they normally last more than a few hours. She left the room, and only a few minutes after her absence, I realized how wrong she'd been. I was not lucky. I looked to the mirror across the room and saw her again. My ex staring at me. Where her eyes were supposed to be was a sort of black smoke. Behind it emptiness. Her skin was pale, as if no longer holding back life, and she bared her teeth as she smiled at me. She, or it, was not done with me.